before we come here to earth we we're consciousness we decide to come down to earth to experience the game of duality that's why earth is so dense there's dark and there's light there's good and there's bad this is duality we come here to earth school to experience duality as part of the earth experience and the dark ages are over now we've entered into the golden age the golden era we're in the age of Aquarius right now so we're we're pulling away from the darkness but because we're so programmed to live a certain way of separation you know we're you know the ego mind and you know we're all these wars and going against each other our brothers and sisters those days are over so you need to step into the new frequencies now the new earth frequencies now the golden frequencies the beautiful fifth dimensional frequencies because we're consciousness so 3d the old earth the dark ages the dark way it's all 3d state of consciousness new earth is a 5d state of consciousness we you because we are spirit we're spirit here having this human experience so you, you you're coming more into your heart space and remembering that right and you have these internal changes within but because we've lived it a certain way our whole lives we we're stripping away all the old programming of division because there is no separation we're all related we all come from the stars we're all part of god so the creator god the universe the divine creator it's not a man in the sky divine creator the universe is consciousness and the creator wanted to experience consciousness wanted to experience mm, this experience here on earth so we all split up we come down and we had this we all have our own experience here on earth earth school so we can experience a game of duality but now we're transcending duality we're realizing there is no separation this was all an experiment here on earth yes there's the dark forces and the whole negative alien agenda take over and everything happened for a reason this was all part of this this was all part of it it's tapping back in remembering exactly who you are and every single day putting yourself out there in your community every single day putting yourself out there in, the, in your community um, from a place of integrity from a heart space from your heart because we have to be the change we want to see now these changes are happening inevitably but we need to shift from the old energy into the new energy so we all have to take responsibility now how we're going out the old energy and the whole egoic things if you look at these government systems and all this cabal and all that it's all division it's all separation it's all egoic it's all fear-based it's all trauma-based so when we we see that we see the darkness but we are the light we're all light and you can look at them through the eyes of compassion because they're all still part of the creator they're all part of the creator still so you, you constantly drop into your heart center and you look around try this when you're out and about in your community and you look at people look at everyone try to see them for the spirit that they are not the human that they are try to look at them for the spirit that they are and internally you're going to have to shift and you're like oh wow yeah that's my brother and my sister this spirit this consciousness we're consciousness we're not the ego we're not the separation we're not the war we're none of that we're consciousness experiencing life here on earth school the reason why we come here to earth school was to experience the game of earth school experience the game of duality now you, you, you experience the game of duality and you realize oh okay I don't have to live in this matrix system it doesn't mean you need to go and take off and go build out bush or whatever and, and escape it that's a form of escapism we don't escape we see the darkness and we transcend it with our light we see the darkness and we transmute it with our truth because remember who we are so we stand in our power we're taking our power back there's no savior coming to save us there's no jesus christ coming to save us okay it's christ consciousness you remember who you are we are the christ consciousness this is the second coming of christ because you realize you're a conscious creator 
you're in charge of your reality you get to create your reality every single day and I'm going to play into the matrix game of separation and duality or am I going to stay heart centered and raise my vibration to the fifth dimension the vibration live eat breathe walk train play sing create in the fifth dimension fifth dimension everyone here has beautiful magic and beautiful medicine to put out into the world so we can focus on the old crumbling world or we can focus on our attention or what can we do now to put into the new world into the new world because everything is happening behind the scenes we cannot stop the creator's work behind the scenes we got this beautiful plasma coming through upgrading us it's upgrading us it's upgrading our dna people are every day remembering remembering who they are as this spirit here having this human experience here on planet earth so every single day you have a choice are you going to play into the matrix because the matrix is division it's separation it's fear it's stress it's lack New step into the five, the um, the new earth, the five D, the fifth dimensional frequencies. You realize that you live so abundantly. What's the gateway to abundance? Is knowing that. Look how grateful, like we live. You have to live in a state of gratitude every single day. You eat food, be grateful. You have food to eat. You drink water, express your gratitude. Thank you, water, and don't just say it. Feel it. Feel the gratitude. You have a random conversation with someone. Thank you for that conversation because there's either healing taking place there, there's some wisdom shared there, or there's an opportunity there. Everything is happening for you. Everything is happening for you. Even all the stuff that had happened before with the lockdowns and the whole jab agenda and all that, that was all happening for us. You may be scratching your head right now, oh, how's that? Because everything happens for a reason. There's an opportunity in every single thing. There's an opportunity in every single thing that's happening. There's always healing taking place. There's always an exchange from the universe. It's about losing that victim mentality. Oh, this is happening against me. Or this happened to me and all that. No, everything happens for you. Everything happens for you. Embody that truth and know that truth and your life will become so much easier, my friend. Your life will become so much easier. We're here now through this shift. And there's so much misinformation floating around and all these different rabbit holes we can go down and all this confusion and you don't even know whether you're walking left, right or centre. You don't know what is going on out here. Just drop into your heart every day. Be heart-centred. Express gratitude every single day. Or well, throughout your day, be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful we have beautiful sunshine. Be grateful we have beautiful rain. Be grateful that a butterfly just flew past you. Be grateful that you, you shared a beautiful smile with someone on the street. Be grateful that you, you've just learnt some wisdom from someone. Be grateful. Always be grateful. This is how we live abundantly. This is how we live abundantly. You don't have to live in part of that matrix system anymore. Because, you know, you, you the more you remember who you are as this beautiful conscious creator, the more you remember who you are and, you know, you embody that truth, you... You embody that intelligence. You know, there's no need to go to matrix doctors because you're looking after yourself. You're remembering old ways of healing, how our ancestors used to heal. You're remembering your magic that you can self-heal, you can heal yourself. You know, you don't need to go to a matrix job where you're a slave to the system, where you work 9 to 5 or 12 hour shifts and all that. You don't need to do that for the money. It's not about the money. That was all part of a black cube. Um... That was just all part of that old energy, part of all that, it's all black magic rituals, all that whole money system, that's all part of that. You realise, okay, you know what, I don't have to be part of that system, what can I do now to, what can I do, what is it, what's my magic in me, are you a teacher, are you a healer, everyone has medicine to bring forth, and we bring it forth in our community, we bring it forth and we share it for our family and our friends, everyone has a gift, whether you express your medicine through music, whether you express your medicine in a classroom, whether you express your medicine um, playing a sport, inspiring people, training, whatever it may be, everyone has medicine to offer to the world. This is how we shift into the new world and we merge out of the old energy, the old matrix energy. You don't need to rely on the matrix system. There's no saviour. There's no saviour. 
the whole the whole old old way of being it was all this indoctrination it was all this brainwashing that you need a savior you need some god to come and save you or oh, where's this god coming and this person's going to come and save me from the sky fuck no you are the conscious creator you save yourself you show up for you every single day you show up for you the best way you can here through your heart how can I be the greatest version of me today? And what is it that I want? How am I going to put my light into the world today? And that's what you do. That's what you do. And the universe, God, the creator, spirit will see that. And the energy will reflect back to you. You don't have to worry about how you're going to pay your next bill. Because you're living in alignment with who you are. In integrity. With love in your heart. With acceptance for all. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. This is new earth. This is the new energy. We need to tap into the new energy. Every day, tap into the new energy. When you wake up, tap into the new energy. Every single day, live, breathe, experience new earth frequencies. Let go of the old. The system cannot control you unless you let them control you. No one can tell you what to do anymore. You shop for you every single day. No one's coming to save you. No one is your, you're not a slave anymore. You have a choice. You can be part of that old energy, the old matrix system. Okay? You can be part of that if you like. Or you can step into the new energy and realize how magical you are and liberate yourself. You can absolutely liberate yourself. Keep healing. We're healing. We're in the process of healing. All this beautiful divine plasma is just flooding through the planet from our beautiful family from the stars. God's work is just all at play, you know? The Matrix don't want you to know that. They want to keep you in shackles and chains, locked in, not knowing your divinity, not knowing how powerful you are. Watch where you're putting your energy. Remember, we're conscious creators. So when we're in spirit, before we come here, we manifested our own body. Okay, We manifested our own body. We manifested our own body. Even, even what country we want, we want to come and incarnate in. Even what race we want to incarnate in. We did that. That's how powerful we are. So energy is precious, energy is everything. So you want to be mindful where you're putting your energy. If you're putting your energy on all, this is how this is how the matrix manifests stuff. Because say 10 people in a room, 10 people in a room are manifesting mm, the sunshine to come up. Beautiful sunshine's gonna come up, it's gonna manifest because where you put energy, okay? You flow that energy there, that's how you manifest, right? So imagine, say, I don't know, maybe 600 people in this vicinity here in my community here 600 people around me at night time are watching the news and there's fear-based stuff pumped out what's happening they're adding to that energy and they're feeding that energy do you see what i mean take that all around the earth take that all around the earth so where we put our energy so we need to focus on the new energy where there's creation where people are creating people are inspiring each other people are healing each other everyone is sharing we're all co-creating a new earth where we put our energy is very precious because that's how powerful we are. So you need to be very mindful where you're putting your energy. Are you putting your energy onto the new earth or you're focusing on the old earth, the crumbling and all that? It's good to know the earth's history. It's good to know the galactic history. Yes, don't get me wrong. And I enjoy bringing truths to the surface. But, you know, focus on where you're putting your energy. Focus on your future goals. What do you want for you? What do you want for your kids? How do you want to see your grandkids living? in a place that's just everyone is harmonized we live in harmony with all the animals we live in harmony for all of our brothers and sisters like just thinking of that it's just so beautiful so beautiful we get to create that we're all co-creating the new earth and that's it starts within my friend it starts within each and every one of us if there's 100 people who watch this video today and we're all we're all focusing our energy there that is huge that's huge. We're all co-creating the new earth. It's about stepping out of the old, stepping out of the old belief systems of separation. Oh, but this person did this to me. And that, yes, this person did do this to you. Yes, this person did hurt you. Yes, this person traumatized you. Yes, this person did that. But remember, that's the old energy. That's still your brother. That's still your sister. Whether it was your ex-husband, whether it was your ex-missus, whether it was your father, whether it was your mum. Remember, a lot of generational trauma got passed on. A lot of generational traumas got passed on. If you're sitting there and you're feeling abandoned because your parents abandoned you and you're maybe 12 years old watching this video or you're maybe 50 years old watching this video and still struggling because your parents abandoned you, think of it like this, okay? They didn't know how to give you that love and attention and affection that you needed. 
because they didn't receive that from their parents and they didn't receive it from their parents and they got passed down this is generational traumas we're here to break that up we're here to have that understanding to know that truth we're here to have that wisdom and we pass that wisdom down to our children we pass that wisdom to the kids in our community so people can heal so people can realize shit and see the bigger picture this is expansion. We're expanding our consciousness. This is a time where we are growing. This is evolution. And the earth, Mother Earth, is, is shifting. Her consciousness is rising. All the plant nation, all the animals, the birds, everything. The consciousness is rising. We're in a new energy. This is the golden era. So choose today. Do you want to be in the old energy? Or do you want to step into the new, fresh, new earth frequencies? Do you really remember who you are? And that you can let go and shed away all of the old belief systems and let go of all the burdens from the past and really step into your power. Step into your power. Do not be afraid to step into your power. You are magical. We are all different. We are all unique. We don't need to compare ourselves to each other anymore. We don't need to do that anymore. If you're using social media and you're still comparing yourself to other people, don't do that to yourself, darling. Don't do that to yourself anymore. We are all so beautiful. We all have magic in us. We come from the creator. We're all one. We're all one. We're all magical. So hold this in your heart. Every day when you wake up, remember you have a choice. Do you want to be in the old earth, the old energies? Or do you want to be in the new earth, the new frequencies? Go within. Tap into your heart. That's where the magic lays. That is where the magic lays. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here at this time with me on planet earth. <laughs> raising the vibration and shifting us back up to the golden era it's an absolute honor to be here at this time to give service to share my wisdom to share my medicine everything that you went through in your lifetime whether it be grief trauma abandonment abuse whatever whatever it may have been has been preparing you for this very now moment so you can crack your heart open so you can share your medicine with the world and this is how we shift into a beautiful world don't worry about all the rubbish, all the distraction, all the shit that's going on out there. Tap in, remember your divinity. You were so loved and you were so supportive at this time. We walk with our ancestors right by our side. We walk with our ancestors and our spirit family right by our side. Believe me, my friend, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. You hold the magic within. Remember that. You hold the magic within. You are magical. You are infinite. You are consciousness. And you are the creator of your reality. I love you so much.